Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Welcome to my maker portfolio. To me, making means creating for fun. As an artist and a maker, I create everything from metal flowers to robots and RC cars. Although making and inventing can often solve world problems, they don't always have to. I enjoy making for the fun of it, and sometimes I solve problems as small as creating a holder for a blow dryer. I would like to present one of my longest running projects, a hand gesture controlled robotic arm. The arm works by first taking input from a leap motion sensor, sending it to the computer to be processed by my Python program, where it's then spit out into the Arduino that controls the servo angles. Although there was a learning curve for the Leap Motion programming library, the main component of the code consisted of trigonometry. Since the Leap Motion outputs the hand's position as coordinates in 3D space, I was able to apply the math I was learning in my pre-calculus class to determine the servo angles. After this, I made a basic program in Python that would change servo position based on finger distance. This was the first test for what ended up being my final claw design, a claw that opens and closes based on a single servo rotation. The claw started as a conceptual design on paper, and when I had enough SOLIDWORKS experience, I 3D printed my first prototype. Although the concept was there, it was still lacking in several places. The second iteration was the first fully functioning one, with an attachment point and a place for the servo rods to connect. However, it was still way too heavy for the servos to regularly lift, and the opening point was too small. The final design fixed these problems, with lightweight holes, a simpler mechanism that resulted in a larger opening, and makeshift gripper pads. This project is close to me because it's grown and developed as my skills have. When I first started this project freshman year, my knowledge of CAD and coding were minimal, and some of the first iterations reflect that. However, as I improved, I learned how to streamline my code and better design each version of the claw. As I've grown, this project has as well. 